welcome to madhurima's kitchen and madhurima basu today it's raining outside and i have a few things this uh, shallots or baby onion and i have this uh, aubergine the small one the tiny one and i'm going to prepare a sri lankan recipe with this so let's start with the recipe let's start the cooking so i will heat this kadai at first and i already cut this uh, brinjal or aubergine into thick uh, strips so i am going to prepare a pickle um, the name of the pickle is uh, this is a sri lankan recipe and the name of the recipe is brinjal mozu or uh, wambatu mozu so i will heat some veg oil to fry the brinjal and it won't be in a smoking point otherwise the brinjal will uh, burn So let me check. I have to fry this uh, brinjal strip till they are brown. The brown. So I will fr uh, fry this in batches, and then uh, I will fry some more things. You can see I have this salad and I have this whole green chili. So I will fry after the brinjal is done. and the uh, i marinated this uh, aubergine or brinjal with uh, turmeric powder and salt and right now you can see it's already fried all are fried so i will keep this aside and now i will uh, fry onion uh, the shallots and uh, green chili as well so let me show you so i have this already fried and i keep it aside the oil is too much hot so very carefully i have to fry this onion from a distance i have to from a distance i have to add this the shallots very carefully and after the onions are fried i will fry the green chili as well and again i will keep this aside and uh, fry it in a low flame and uh, now you can see the onions are already fried and the chilies are already fried in this recipe um, usually uh, you can use 10 to 12 chili but uh, i cannot eat uh, chili so that's why i am using only 3 chili so i will keep this aside switch off the gas and i will keep this aside again Normally Sri Lankan recipes are uh, very spicy and uh, then lots of chili they are using um, but here I am not using much chili only 3 if you want you can use more than that and now I will add ginger garlic paste in this It's already switch off now I will switch on the gas let me cook for couple of uh, minutes and in this pickle it will be uh, hot and sour and then sweet as well the burst of flavor i can say because i will use uh, vinegar for the sour and um, and then i will use sugar as well so now i will uh, add some sugar around 2 teaspoon of sugar stir it well and now i will add the fried uh, brinjal and the fried chili and shallot as well give it a stir and now i will add some mustard paste in the main recipe uh, sri lankan use mustard powder but i am using the mustard paste and 
am adding little bit of uh, Kashmiri red chilli powder for the color as well. Uh, but uh, you can use red chilli powder. So another star. Just uh, cook it well so the uh, spices cover up properly. It's almost done. And now I will add some vinegar. So the tanginess will be there. It's around 2 teaspoon vinegar. So the brinjal mojo is already done. And you can have it, this week you can have this uh, any roti or any rice item as well. So the very um, quick recipe and you can keep this in freezer for 2 weeks. So my brinjal mojo is done. For more uh, recipes like this, please subscribe Madhurima's Kitchen and Madhurima Basu. So the brinjal mojo is done. The wombatu uh, mojo, they call it in uh, Sinhali language. For more recipes like this, please subscribe my YouTube channel Madhurima Basu and Madhurima's Kitchen. And you can um, go through in Facebook page Madhurima's Kitchen or you can uh, follow in Instagram as well Madhurima's Kitchen.